hi everyone welcome to my channel today i want to share with you this beautiful beni uh, it's so easy and not uh, so hard it's so simple you can do it easily i promise that uh, you can use different colors of yarns uh, you can adapt it every type i give all the details in the video and if you have any questions, please leave me comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. If you're ready, we will start to crochet our this 3D colorful beanie. Let's start. Uh, I used two colors of same quality yarn. Uh, they are they are sizes four. I will use. For the brim part of our beanie, 4 mm hook and the pattern I will use 5 mm hook. Okay, uh, that's uh, one ball 100 grams and 180 meters. Okay, or uh, you can adapt your um, yarn like this. I prepare my brim, but I want to show you how I did that. Take the four millimeters, make a slip knot, then chain eleven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then uh, skip that first insert the second one and make a single crochet in every each stitch so totally we have 10 single crochet 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 Chain one and turn your work. This is our first stitch. So we will insert the second one, but only back loop I will insert my hook. Leave that front here and insert from the back loop. Grab the yarn, pull through all together and make a single crochet. Then make our single crochets only back loop that's three four five six seven eight nine and come to the last one you will make the last usual single crochet First and the last stitch is as usual. Okay, chain one and turn and insert into the back loop and make your single crochets only back loop. You will crochet like that until that's uh, turn around wherever you want to make this bunny. Okay, that's the last one is as usual chain one and turn and keep crochet this first one and second keep like that but our pattern needs multiples of five your uh, chains number is divisible by five so I made 80 rows with that single crochet for making that brim okay if you want to make this for a child i think you need nearly 60 rows but you will measure your uh, child's head but uh, approximately it's nearly 60 or 70. you will crochet uh, which how many rows you need you will crochet that and uh, finish your brim part after that we will 
put them on together like that I will take off this here now insert that and we will join them together insert the first stitch grab the yarn and make a slip stitch you know here is the our first starting part uh, for the first make our chains part here and this is the finishing part we will insert that whole loops we will insert that only back loops then grip the yarn pull through to get uh, directly in the loop okay so make a slip stitch insert whole loops insert back loop grip the yarn and take off like that both loops back loops and do the same thing all the stitches I come to the last stitch come to the last stitch take them together join with a slip stitch then turn my work and you can see here it's so clear okay now we will make one row a single crochet but I want to change my hook okay I will take my five millimeter hook chain one and not count and insert the same stitch and make a single crochet now you can see here one is down part one is upper part uh, all, all of them is a row so we will make a single crochet in every each row like that at the end of that row, I have 80 stitches. Like that, I will make my single crochet. I finish that row after come back here. I made my single crochets. Totally, I have 80 single crochet. And join with a slip stitch that, that first single crochet after that chain one and not count that chain one in every row okay then uh, we will make two more rows single crochet but uh, always like that insert into the back loop grab the yarn and pull through two always we will make our single crochet in back loops okay insert into the back loop grab the yarn and make a single crochet uh, we will make like that two rows after that start to make our pattern okay I will make my single crochets and turn to you I finished two rows sing with single crochet but only back loop you can see the lines because we will make our we made our single crochets on the back loop finish that round and insert into the first double uh, first single crochet and join with a slip stitch chain one and not count again now start to make our pattern insert into the same stitch back loop and make one two three and four single crochet into the back loop I don't want to tell uh, after that we will make in this pattern always back loop that single crochets okay after that yarn over and this is our uh, row but we will insert our hook two rows before previous rows okay not that 
insert that first round that stitch grab the yarn pull through two and pull through two make a double crochet then so we make uh, that stitch place a double crochet but previous rows so we skip that insert next four stitch single crochet in back loops three and four then yarn over and not that not that two rows before we will insert that stitch grab the yarn lose it up pull through two pull through two so skip that and make four single crochet next to that two three and four yarn over not that not one before two before that line stitch you can see that stitch here grab the yarn lose it up and pull through two pull through two four single crochet in backgrounds and fifth one a double crochet lose the double crochet from the two rows before finish that round and turn to you I finished that round made four single crochet in back loops and the last double crochet from the two rows before insert my hook here grab the yarn pull through two pull through two then join with a slip stitch from the first stitch chain one and not count that round we slide that doubles next stitch so we made here the last so this our first stitch will start with a double crochet chain one and not count yarn over and not this first not second and insert the third one grab the yarn and lose it up one and two so slide our double here then insert into the next stitch because we use that stitch for that double crochet one two three and four double uh, four single crochet sorry made in the back loop yarn over and insert not that not that insert that third stitch grab the yarn lose it up and pull through to pull through to so we slide that double like that again make one two three and four yarn over one two insert the third one grab the yarn lose it up pull through two pull through two again make four single in back loop then made make a the loosey double crochet in the two row before i will finish that round and turn to you I come at the end of the that second round and make four single crochet in back loop and we finish that round and join with a slip stitch that stitch chain one and not count now uh, that third round you will uh, know we will slide that double crochet that stitch so we made a we will make here a single crochet three single crochet comes here because we will make here a double crochet so left here three stitch you know you see that that's one the fourth one okay yarn over and not that not second insert the third and make a loosey double crochet then make again four single one two three four yarn over one two insert the third one not you will insert your hook like that you will insert your hook from down to the up okay one two 
three and four yarn over and insert knot dead knot second insert the third stitch and make a double crochet that's the third round with that uh, loose double crochet we will change our uh, yarn color three rounds per three rounds I finish that round and start with the second color okay I finish that and turn to you I finish that round you can see here we have three stitch left one two and three fourth one is here join with a slip stitch and complete that round now before complete that take the second color insert into the first stitch not cut that yarn you will wait that uh, in the back side okay not front side take this new yarn second color chain one join with that after insert into the first stitch from the back loop grab the yarn and make a single crochet now we will slide that double crochet here so we uh, should make here two single crochet in back loop yarn over and not here not here insert into the third stitch from the two uh, rows be, um, previous grab the yarn and pull through two pull through two then again make four single crochet into the back loop one two three and four fourth uh, single crochet always uh, up to the last loose double crochet okay yarn over not here not here insert that one pull through two pull through two one two three and four yarn over one two insert the third one one more show you one two and three and this is the last four yarn over one two and third one make a double crochet after that finish that round and come here you will see that you will make that stitch a long double crochet so you left here two stitch join with a slip stitch that so you complete that round after that you will make three from the start because one is coming from the uh, last stitch three single because last single on that after that make here double crochet three rounds you will crochet with the second color after you will take the first color I finished that uh, two more rounds finish that three rounds and show you how we will uh, keep crocheting the first color after uh, as same as you will repeat that three rounds always which desired length to uh, you want uh, I finish that three rounds and turn to you I come at the end of that third uh, row and you see made four single crochet and the last one is uh, a loosey double crochet not that not that and that's one I insert here grab the yarn that's our pull through two pull through two and join with a slip stitch with the our first color chain one and uh, now that slide the first stitch okay don't skip that yarn over and not here not here insert into the third one grab the yarn and pull through two pull through two we slide that stitch now 
one, two, three, and four. Then yarn over one, two, and insert the third one. One and two. So we change. So we turn back to the first color and we will waiting that uh, second color here. After third uh, row, we will change our color to the second one and we will uh, crochet that. Uh, I will crochet that and after turn to you and how many rows I crocheted, I will tell you. Uh, wait here and few seconds, I will turn to you. I crocheted totally 20 rounds. You see, I made two uh, with my first color and the third one, I want to start it two degrees. Uh, it's with the brim 17 centimeter and without brim uh, 12 centimeter. Okay. You can uh, adapt that which you crochet. Now we start to degrees. You remember we have here uh, we made in the pa pattern four single crochet, one is long double crochet. Uh, we made that double crochet before uh, previous third row. Now we will increase that with that uh, single crochets. So chain one and insert into the same stitch, grab the yarn, insert into the next stitch and grab the yarn. I have three loops on my hook, pull through all together. So we decrease it two to the one. We always make our uh, single crochets in back loops. So again one more time make that grab the yarn insert into the next one grab the yarn and pull through two yarn over and one two and three here is the place grab the yarn lose it up pull through two pull through two now again start to degrees here this is belongs to that uh, long double crochet and we have here four single. Insert into the first single back loop, grab the yarn, insert into the second, grab the yarn, pull through two. One more time, one and two, pull through all together. Yarn over and insert into that place, grab the yarn, lose it up, pull through two, pull through two. We will decrease that like that in that row. I finish that round and turn to you. I come at the end of this round and make last long double crochet. Then you know we made here slip stitch, join with a slip stitch and take the second color. Then chain one, and uh, you know we have here we uh, degrees that here two loops. Our last uh, stitch is long double crochet, so we start with long double crochet, yarn over and one, two, and insert the third, pull through two, pull through two, and we keep decreasing that two stitch together crochet single crochet make long double crochet crochet that two stitch together and make long double crochet two stitch uh, with single crochet then make long double I finish that round and turn to you finish that round crochet two stitch together with single crochet you remember our first stitch is long double and join with a slip stitch 
one more time we will uh, sorry wrong yarn I think I I can cut that I can cut that yarn chain one We will make a long double next stitch, but we will make only uh, one long double and we crochet that one single and long double together like that. Insert into the same stitch. Uh, normally we may we will make here a single crochet, but now we will crochet that single and that long double together. Grab the yarn, then yarn over and insert. here and crochet together then insert here grab the yarn yarn over insert here pull through two pull through three okay normally we made here a single crochet then make here long double but now we decreasing so we insert here grab the yarn yarn over and insert here grab the yarn pull through and pull through three so uh, we made long double also we keep the decreasing one and insert into the third pull through two and pull through three one and pull through two and pull through three like that we keep decreasing i come to the end and join with a slip stitch that round we will make only one long double crochet and uh, complete that pattern okay yarn over and uh, one two and you see here three insert here grab the yarn pull through two pull through two yarn over and insert here pull through two pull through two yarn over insert here pull through two pull through two yarn over only make long double and finish that pattern I finish that and turn to you I come at the end of that round and join with a slip stitch chain one and cut my yarn with long tail you can uh, shrink that penny after that with your needle or you can make it like that I insert that tail all the stitches then pull that yarn tightly and take it in into the back side turn our penny and look at that back side you can see that like that and also you can sew that also you can make it like that and close that hole tightly okay
I will make it so safe. We close that hole. Our Benny is finished, has been finished, and uh, you can make it. And I want to give you measurement with the brim. It's 18 and a half centimeter and nearly six and nearly seven and a half inches. You can put here a pompon like me. Also, you can uh, use that Benny without pompon. It's your choice. I want to show you. After that, I will sew it tightly. I will I will lock that like that. After I will make it more safety. Our Benny is ready. Hope you like this tutorial. It's so easy, but after that, it's uh, looking um, so hard, but it's so easy. Uh, you can make it. Uh, everyone, you can make it for child's colorful. You can use uh, more than uh, two colors. You can use every three row of different colors or every row of different colors it's your choice it can be adaptable every type i hope you like this tutorial and you can uh, you will make that and share with me thanks for your watching you can reach me on instagram on facebook and on pinterest as the same name crochet with gigi if you have any questions please leave me comments and don't forget subscribe to my channel Hope to see you in new videos. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.